Do you guys know how much time I spent in my four years of medical school on lifestyle, supplementation, movement, <laughs> diet, nutrition, right? Less than 30 minutes. The number one question that's come up during the hormone challenge week has been, besides how to test hormones is, why don't doctors know what to do when they do test hormones? And that's a really deeper question. Uh, and I've answered it and alluded it a little differently, different places, but here's a really clear cut answer. There is no training for doctors around not only how to test hormones, but how to balance your hormones. So when you think about what doctor training is about, I spent at least a year in med school learning how to prescribe medication and another year really learning what medical procedures and surgeries they can recommend to patients. Do you guys know how much time I spent in my four years of medical school at one of the top medical schools in the country, UCLA, on lifestyle, supplementation, movement, <laughs> diet, nutrition, right? Um, all these other tools. Do you know how much time I spent on that during my four years of medical school? Less than 30 minutes. And so you have to understand what you are up against, which is that doctors are really trained by pharmaceutical companies and hospitals to prescribe prescriptions and to schedule as many surgeries for the hospital to make money as possible. So there is a monetary reason as to why doctors really don't have any training on hormone balancing because there's not much money to be made uh, in it for anybody, really. And on top of it, it's complicated. It's not something that in a 10, 15 minute office visit, I can get you in and out of my office about because not only do you have to learn how to do it, but in order to explain to you what hormone balancing is, I have an entire program, my hormone masterclass to do that, which is a year long program around that, right? So how realistically as a doctor who sees you for 10, 15 minutes, even if I saw you every six weeks, which is what I did in my medical practice, I was not able to provide the education that you needed to understand all these different tools and how they work together to balance your hormones. Hi, I'm Meg UMD, and I'm a functional and holistic medicine physician and the creator of the Transform and Transform Protocol. If you're interested in learning what are the root causes of all chronic disease, go ahead and click the link in the description where I have a power pack 30 minute training that goes over what are the five pillars of Transform. Go ahead, click the link, and I'll see you in that training, which brings me right back to the question, which is why do doctors not understand how to interpret hormone results? And it's because there's no money to be made. And then you got to think about who are the sponsors of medical school and med medical education. And then finally, how uh, what models are doctors compensated under? Doctors are compensated with high number of visits. So that's the how warehouse method, you know, where the higher number of visits you get, the more you get paid. That's one method that doctors get paid. And in that volume setting, incentivize to spend as little time with you as possible so they can book more patients per hour. That's really the opposite of a holistic, comprehensive approach to hormone balance. That's not possible for you to get educated in that setting or getting the care that you need. The other way that doctors will get compensated, which I alluded to is if they, for example, are proceduralists. So they get paid a higher amount of money per procedure. This is why dermatologists make a lot of money versus the pediatrician. So dermatologists are really great at doing skin biopsies. And every time they do a skin biopsy, which takes them less than five, 10 minutes in a room, um, they get paid probably the equivalent of five or six office visits. So they're incentivized to run as many procedures on you as possible to make money. So if you're going to the gynecologist to get your hormone balance, what you're going to find is they're going to be really pushing you towards procedures, um, endometrial ablations, fibroidectomies, hysterectomies, because that's what they are compensated to do. So therefore, if a provider is incentivized to do procedures, whether because they're compensated by the insurance company, you're going to be steered towards more surgical options and procedures because they get paid 5, 10, 20, 50 times more to do a procedure on you. And then finally, you go to cash pay hormone specialists and they get incentivized to give you hormone pellets because every time a patient gets the hormone pellet, they get hundreds of dollars versus you know, less than hundred dollars for an office visit, let's say. So then they're incentivized to get as many people on hormone pellets, which are really high dose hormone replacement and not hormone balance. So you get six to 10 people lined up every single hour to be a hormone pellet mill, another form of warehouse medicine, where it's a cash pay practice 
lots and lots of pellets. So these are what I call hormone pellet practice. They're just pellet pushers and they have no interest in hormone balance whatsoever. This is why the odds are stacked against someone trying to get the hormones balanced in working with their doctor. It's really difficult, even when they get lab testing done for their doctors to understand what those hormone patterns are. And even and it's really challenging for their doctors to even, if they were educated about hormone balance, to deliver hormone balance care to you and education to you. So I hope that gives you a nutshell as to why you've been up against so many different types of obstacles and why I had to create my hormone masterclass to be able to address all these concerns to make sure people get proper amount of testing. You get educated on the patterns because they sure as heck don't know how. And number three, you get access to all these tools. So it's not going to be just the one trick pony where it's going to be like hormone replacement or nothing. Literally, there's 10 to 100 more tools when you actually are the one that learns to be really powerful about how to balance your own hormones. Hi, and thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in actively looking for a solution to your problem and you'd like to work with us, I'm gonna invite you to go ahead and click the link in the description to book a chat with our team. What that's going to do is it's going to bring you to a calendar, pick a time that's going to suit your needs best. It's going to be about a 15 minute phone call. After you book that call, there's going to be a link to a short questionnaire. And that's really important for you to fill out because it's for us to get to know you better and helps us to better prepare to make the most of our time together. After you fill out the short application, it's going to take you to a page where there's a couple resources. What I want you to do is go ahead and click two of those and watch those. Uh, two trainings, they're going to really best prepare you for your phone call with us to make the best use of our time together. I and my team look forward to talking to you to learn more about you to see if we are indeed a good fit to work together. Thank you.